43. If a 2.5 amp current flows through a circuit for 35 minutes, how many coulombs of charge moved through the circuit? Okie dokie. So, looks like we have some variables here, right? They did tell us that we have 35 minutes, and minutes is a type of time. So we have a T variable. And they told us that we had a type of current, right? In this case, 2.5 amps. A stands for amps. So whenever you have a current value, or in amps, that's a I value. So I have a T, I have an I value, and we want to know how many coulombs of charge that is. The coulombs of charge is a Q value. So this one is just a straightforward uh, formula. Going down to here for our formulas that we know for electrolysis, Q equals I times T. So I'll use this equation first. So I'm trying to solve for Q. I have an I value of 2.5 amps. And I have a, uh, I almost said a temperature. I have a time value of 35 minutes. Now, the thing here is that your current should always be in amps, so that's the right a unit. However, when we're using Q equals I times T, your time has to be in seconds, not minutes. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to convert minutes into seconds. This should be pretty straightforward, right? Minutes into seconds, we always just multiply by 60. So 35 times 60, and I get 2100 seconds. Now I'm ready to plug it in. Q equals my I times my T. We have an I value of 2.5, and we have a time now of 2100 seconds. Let's just calculate this. That times 2.5, and I get 5,250 um, coulombs, which is capital C. But if we want sig figs here, just know that I have two sig figs here. I have two sig figs for 35. I should have two sig figs here. So I'm just going to round this to 5,300. Or you can do 5.3 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3. Coulomb. Whichever one, it doesn't matter. Now, let's just do one more formula. Let's just introduce one more formula, even though they didn't state this here. But let's just say that the next question says, how many moles of electrons, how many moles of electrons are in the 5,300 coulombs, or the 5.3 times 10 to the third coulombs? Now we're going to introduce a new formula. So that's why I just wanted to quickly do this because I just want you to know two of the formulas for this chapter. So I'm just going to get rid of this and bring this up. If you're solving for now the moles of electrons, that's always an n value. So this is what I don't know. I just found out my coulombs, that's my charge, right? The 5300 or the 5.3 times 10 to the third. And just know that F is that Faraday's constant, right? F is a constant value. 96,485 units are coulombs per mole. So if I just plug it in, number of moles equals, let's see, we have our coulombs, which is 5.3 times 10 to the third, and then that's divided by Faraday's constant, 96,485, and then we will get our n value, which is the number of moles. So I'll just take 5300 divided by 96,485, and still two sig figs if you want, so we could do 0 0.055, and that's how many moles of electrons. So E minus is electrons. But just know that the this specific, whoa, what happened there? This specific question is just asking for the coulombs of charge. So this is the coulombs. But it was good to just go over 
the other formula as well. And there you go. All right. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. I hope you all have a great day and keep working hard. All right. I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.